welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would bring you along and cook with me. We're going to be cooking buffalo chicken pasta. I actually originally found this recipe on Pinterest, so I will definitely make sure that I link it down below in the description. We've actually had this quite a few different times. It is one of our favorites and it's super simple to make, so let's get cooking. Alrighty guys, so it's super easy. You just need some chicken, onion, carrots, celery, a packet of dry ranch. Um, you actually need a garlic, a couple garlic cloves, but I don't have any, so we're gonna use some garlic powder, some chicken broth, olive oil, red hot, or your favorite buffalo sauce, um, some shredded pepper jack, this is what is available for me. And then some penne pasta or really any pasta of your choosing. And then you can also get some blue cheese crumbles or ranch dressing or green onions, you know, whatever you would like to top your pasta. So let's go ahead and start cutting up. We need to cut up the chicken, carrots, and celery. So let's get started. pepper jack cheese so let's go ahead and add everything and I'll be right back
you get everything in there, just give it a good stir. You know, make sure that your seasonings, your ranch packet and that all get mixed in. Um, it's up to you how much buffalo sauce or hot sauce, the Frank's Red Hot that you want to add in there. Um, it calls, I think, for like half a bottle. So I usually do about a quarter, not quite a half, because it gives enough heat for my family. Um, but it's totally up to you and how much fam or how much heat your family can really take. So once we get everything all mixed together here, um, I will go ahead and turn the heat on your. Let's see. So basically we're gonna turn the heat on and bring it to a boil. Um, you can either use a large pan like this or even a Dutch oven. I didn't feel like pulling out my Dutch oven right now. Um, so we did go ahead and just use this big pan, which is just fine. I usually make it in this. I've made it in the uh, Dutch oven a couple times, but I just like making it in this. It makes it a lot easier to clean. So again, that's totally a uh, preference, totally up to you. So we're going to go ahead and let this warm up and come to a boil. low let it simmer until most of the broth is gone um, I think about an inch or so thick in the bottom of the pan and I will show you that when we get there have a few minutes left here. I'm just giving it a stir because it's going to start sticking because you're losing your liquid. But you see how much of that liquid that is cooked out of here and it's starting to stick up really nice. It coats the spoon. So like I said it just has a couple more minutes and then we will stir in the cheese. So if you look here, we're definitely thin on sauce, or not thin, but thick more, more so. Um, when you give it a stir, you can kind of tell how much sauce is in here. There's not a whole lot left, so this is when we're going to turn it off and go ahead and add the cheese in and give it a stir. A little bit of juice or broth, I guess, that is still in there will be enough to melt the cheese and make it a nice, thick coating on the noodles. That is what it looks like. You can go ahead and top this 
with some ranch or even more buffalo sauce if somebody in your family prefers it a little hotter than others. Um, some green onion, blue cheese crumbles, whatever you guys like. We're kind of boring and we eat it just the way you see it. So I'm gonna dish it up here for the kiddos and we'll get eating. so much for watching make sure you give this a video a big thumbs up let me know in the comments if you try this recipe or not um don't forget to hit the red subscribe button on the way out also if you're not already go check me out on